Hi, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to show you how you can do your own Universal Studios intro. So you'll need at least Blender 2.82 for this. So go ahead to the Blender homepage and download the newest version of Blender. You find the download links for the Universal Studios intro in the description below. So once you open up Blender, you should be greeted with something like this. Right in the center, you can see the universal letters, which we'll be changing out for whatever you want to see here. So for the basic inputs for looking around in the Blender viewport, I'm not going to cover them because I think uh, there are millions of videos out there and they can explain it way better than I can. I'll show you every single step you need to know to get your letters be shown here. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to select this universal letters and then we're going to hit Alt P to clear the parent to the underlying armature, which we've done like this. Now we're gonna go right here and we're gonna make the letters object visible. And we wanna render it too. So if we now look at these letters, you can see it's pretty much the entire alphabet and the numbers that you need to create your own phrase right here. So like last time, I'm gonna select my letters that I need um, I'm just going to hover over them with my mouse and then hit L to select them. So that's D, M, N, 3, O. And then with Control I, I'm going to invert this to X and delete all the vertices. So this is all the letters I need. I'm going to take these and then with G, X, I'm going to move them to right about where I want them. G, X, one at the beginning, one at the end. I might say that uh, it's a pretty good idea to line them up with where the universal letters are right now, at least the first and the last one, because they'll find the position of everything in between, and if they have the right position, everything else will line up with them. So, um, with L again, and then GX, I'm going to move them over. Now, I want another N in between those two, so I'm going to take this N with L again, and then we're gonna hit Shift D to duplicate it, and then GX again to move it over, like this. And then the three, and Shift D, GX, Shift D, and GX. So this is everything we need. Now that we have this, I'm going to select the Universal Studios letters again. I'm going to hit X and delete them because we don't need them anymore. All right. So I'm going to line those letters up as best as I can again so that they look good. Like this. Perfect. Now, with these selected, I'm I'm uh, going to hit shift, and then I'm going to select the armature just behind it. Make sure you're at the frame 600. This is pretty important so that everything will line up later on. And then we're going to hit control and P to parent those together with automatic weights. And as you can see, it looks pretty much as we want it. All right, so there's just a few things to do left. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to select our letters again and we're going to hit shift D again to duplicate them and I'm going to rename them to letters black because we are going to delete all the materials here and get our black material and then we're just going to move the letters black to volume like this once we've done this we're going to go to the volume layer. This will take just a while. And then once we're here, I'm going to open this up and then delete the universal black because we don't need this anymore. Now let's go back to universal. Hit the number pad zero to get back to camera view. And save this with file and save. All right. So let's just do a little test render. Don't render the frame 600 because there will be a fade out already. I'm just gonna go to 549. 
hit F12 and then see what it looks like. Now this will take just a while. I'm going to skip forward to when the render is done. So as you can see, everything's working fine. So one last thing you can change is whatever is written down here. For this, we're going to go to another scene, which is called Overlay Text. I'm going to select the text and then with Tab, I'm going to go into the text edit mode. Then I'm just going to write something different like Hello World. And then, if I'm going to go back to the Letters on Earth scene, and I'm going to hit F12 again. Now what's written down here is Hello World. So, this is pretty much everything you need to know to get your scene set up. Now, there's a few little things um, that need to be done before we can render this out. First thing is, we're going to go to the output properties here. We're going to choose the path where we want to save this, which is in my case exactly this. So for the file format, you could choose between PNG or JPEG, or if you really want to, you can also go ahead and save this as a video right away. We have your encoding settings right here. Or again, just as PNGs first, and then afterwards you can combine them to a video via another software or via Blender itself. Now you can render this on 4K, which will mean you'll have to type in 200 here. It will not look exactly the same. There will be a few minor differences, but it should be fine. Just remember that the render time will be more than four times as high than if you render this just with full HD. You might have noticed that the first render will take quite a long time to do for your PC. But I can assure you that once the first render is done, the other renders will render quite a lot faster than the first one. But even with my computer, which is relatively powerful with a AMD Ryzen 7 2700 and NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super, the entire animation will take about seven to eight hours to render. So this might take you a little bit longer. I would say that with a relatively modern machine, you should be able to do this under 20 hours. So you'll have to let your PC run for about a day and then it should be finished. So that's it. That's everything that you need to know to make your own Universal Studios intro. I hope you liked this. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe or comment if you have any questions and I hope you have great results. This was Alex Pompelli. See you next time.